Sen by Lin Fusan. In today's video, we're going to talk about the good life with my groupmates. opinions and interpretation about what is good life for us to be able to understand the good life itself and how to believe the good life it's your funeral no actually you're dead your loved ones are all staring around humanizing about your life so, what are they saying how will you be remembered did you have a good life how would you know and what constitutes a good life what if your last thought before you die was you had perfect life, but when your loved ones sit around and discuss it, they will decide that your life was kind of awful. Is that possible? Could they be right about your life? And could be you wrong? So to find it out, let's watch our video. So, as of now, we are the group 4 and it's time to discuss what is the good life and that means asking yourself some big questions like Are you living the way you think you should? What does it mean to live well? Are you working toward your goals you actually care about? And how important are these things to you? So think about because as Aristotle claims that no individual, young or old, fat or skinny, male or female, must resist happiness. We all want to be happy, right? Aristotle claims that happiness is the be-all and end of all everything that we do. We might realize it, but at the end of the goal life, we must do is happiness. So, here is Miss Angel giving us philosophical view of good life. So, good life is a word that a person may dream of living according to Aristotle. Good life is a life of virtuous deeds. And if your life is full of virtuous death, then a good life will be an understatement. You would have a great life living without deceit, in vain, resentment, and negative actions. It's a fulfillment that everyone should practice doing every day as well as serving those who add to your happiness. Aristotle's good life requires a systematic approach to the question, how should we live? This question illustrates the primary of character, the qualities of entities in Aristotle's ethics. His ethics largely based on the logical account of a decent human life and identifies a good human life with a virtuous life and virtue is conceived as human excellence. The good life is therefore a life of excellence and the pursuit of good human is the primary objective of the human nature. Going to back our main question considering those philosophical point of view about good life. Do you think there is differences in good life back then and now and tomorrow? Because it's really confused my mind. So anyone who can enlighten me? I think that good life in the past, present, and future all have the same meaning. Good life in the past relies on doing good moral aims and practicing virtues that turn into eudaimonia. Aside from pursuing personal pleasures, the betterment of others also taken into consideration. This is the same in the present. It's just that there's some addition to it. Good life into the present now means living into virtuous life while doing meaningful actions regardless of their skills. If they are satisfied or are contented of what they do, then we can now say that we are living in a good life. This is applicable as on the future as well because trying to be better for ourselves and for other people, we can contribute in the society better if we take them all. If our contribution brings happiness and contentment to ourselves and to other people, then we're living a good life. What do you guys think? Yes, you're right. I suppose so that no matter where we are now, the good life will still have the same sense considering virtue is conceived as human excellence. Living a moral life thus instills being happy both inclinations and multiple desires. 
contentment is correlated with uh, being happy. That's why what people do what is best by themselves. The good life from past, present, and in the future are only identical. They all manifest novelties to fulfill a decent living. In our lives, virtues play a crucial role. It prevents us from choosing inappropriate choices that can be promote, break us, and suffer from precautions. The definition of good life does not prepare us to a perfect life from now and then or maybe in the future as I predicted. Good life means to live well. Oh, I see. Mr. Freddy, how did you react to their point? Every individual has different desires. They want to achieve in life. Everyone has the same thought to have a good life. So, they will be remembered as on improving creatures in this various time. You can take different path or direction from others. Don't list the hinder your ultimate goals. Don't forget to make false because life it is not a risk. In addition, the good life is a cycle of happiness that never stops and only gets you as time goes by. I recommend that we enjoy the simple pleasures of life to pursue the good life that we are looking for. Living the good life is a choice by the thing you love and choose those things are being meaningful for you. Because your life is in your hands. You are the only one who can make your life better and greater. Like what Secret said, you should be critical of your own life. Don't wait for someone to come along and see yourself. So, go yourself and be at a good relationship with others. And make your life meaningful as you can. That's it. Till next time, I hope you learned something. And that's it be all. Thank you.